So now I would like to emphasize the specific McKenzie treatment plan that is patients with neck pain. So the first step in the treatment process is for patients for patients to correct their posture. So we're going to look at the treatment process that we most see in physical therapy that has to do with a patient that does have a derangement or a, or a disc herniation. So one of the first things that we do with this patient is to look at their posture. So you want to make sure that they're always having a C in their lower back. So if you look at the pictures, the it, the lady with the, the green X below her, or the green check below her, is having a proper sitting posture. And she has a posture roll in the C in the small of her back, and she's sitting upright, and her shoulders are back, and her ear is over her shoulders. So that's the correct posture. The man to the left of her has a slumped posture, and that's something that we commonly see with people who are working at a computer all day or sitting down all day, they start to have this slumped posture. So that would be the bad posture. And also we wanna look at their sleeping postures as well. So are they using too many pillows, too little pillows, and if they need any kind of correction as far as sleeping posture is concerned. So these are just some of the pictures of the posture correction tools that we recommend patients use. So the first one is a cervical roll, and that's something that a patient can use when they're sleeping in order to maintain a neutral spine in their neck. And the second one is the lumbar roll, and that's something that we recommend to patients when they're driving or if they're sitting for a long period of time at work. So before doing any sort of self-treatment exercises, it's recommended that you see your physician or your physical therapist if you have any of the listed symptoms. So we ha if you're having any sort of dizziness, drop attacks, um, double or blurred vision, difficulty chewing or swallowing, confusion, headache, nausea or vomiting, arm and hand weakness, or numbness in the mouth, it's recommended that you have a proper evaluation before any sort of treatment begins because there's something, there could be something more serious going on. So first, these, these next slides show the exercise progression for somebody with a posterior derangement. So like I said before, most patients that come in, they have, they're classified as a derangement according to McKenzie. And most patients have a posterior derangement, which means that the jelly is coming out the back of the donut. So first, the first set of exercises that we try with patients is we look at their sitting posture, make sure they have a proper sitting posture, and then we have them do chin retractions. So what that is, is you're having your, keeping your eyes straight ahead and you're just trying to bring your chin back, just like the picture, picture to the right. We have patients do this repeated for 10 repetitions and we have them do this every two hours and to see if their pain changes or not. If their pain centralizes, meaning it's going to a more local spot, then that's a good sign. If it's starting to go further down the arm than it originally was, then we recommend that the patient stop at that point and see their physical therapist for further instruction. So the next set of exercise progression has to do with providing self overpressure. So what this is, is a patient would perform that same chin retraction and then they would place two fingers on each side of their chin and they would press to give themselves, to get them to go to their end range of motion. So again, this is, this is performed 10 repetitions every two hours as tolerated by, by the patient. If the symptoms worsen in the lower arm or going into the hand, then obviously the patient should stop at this time and see their physical therapist for further instruction. If it's starting to relieve some of the pain, then we recommend that the patient continue. The next part of the exercise progression, so if the symptoms have plateaued, then a patient would want to add neck extension to the previous exercises. 
And again, these exercises will be performed with 10 repetitions every two hours as tolerated by the patient. So the neck extension is this one. You're doing the chin retraction first with the overpressure and then you're adding in the neck extension. So if a patient has done all of these exercises and the pain is no better or it may be getting worse, then you may have what we call a lateral derangement. So what that means is that the jelly is actually coming out the side of the donut. So most people present with a posterior derangement where it's the jelly is coming out the back of the donut. But if in your case uh, the jelly starts to come out the side, then that would be considered a lateral derangement. So in this case, we would have a patient try to side bend their head to the side of the neck where the pain is. So for instance, if a patient had right-sided neck pain, then we would have them do repeated side bending exercises to the right. And again, the patient would do this 10 reps every two hours as tolerated. So the final steps for these patients, um, hopefully at this point, once they've gone through this exercise progression with us and it's being monitored by a physical therapist, hopefully the pain has abolished by this time and they're no longer having the same pain. You always want to make sure to regain any lost range of motion in the neck. So most people function day to day needing a wide range of motion in their neck. So we need to restore all ranges of motion. You especially want to make sure that the patient is able to rotate from side to side because this is a common range of motion that we use in everyday life. We also want to make sure to maintain this new flexibility, so regularly keeping up with these exercises, maintain good posture throughout the day to prevent any further derangements, and it's always recommended that you see your McKenzie trained physical therapist if your pain is not subsiding with these self-treatment principles. Done. Now you have to watch it because I don't know if I was too close to the camera or not. I hope.